We already know Shimoda makes really good camera bags. We have their Explore version 2 over here and their Action X version 2 right here, both of which I've used extensively for landscape, nature, travel, photography. But let me give you guys an introduction to the newest member of Shimoda's family and give you a rundown of its features as well as compare it to all the new Shimoda bags currently out. This right here is the Shimoda Urban Explore, and it's basically a slimmer and simplified version of the Explore line. Let me give you a quick rundown of the features, uh, just real quick, and then we'll compare the bags at the end. We've got this brand new Kodura material that is a little bit more fabricy. New colors, this black slash gray anthracite color, as well as a white boa color. There's a new smaller 20 liter size for people with less camera gear and maybe smaller builds, but it also comes in 25 and 30 liter sizes. There is a dedicated Peak Design capture clip sleeve, retractable side handles, a new luggage pass-through strap, foldable water bottle slash tripod pockets and straps, a hidden passport pocket, a charging port, plush dividers, and a new laptop pocket behind the camera cube. And of course, because it's a Shimoda bag, they do carry over some familiar features like the internal camera frame, the air mesh back and straps, the side axis, the base handle, the hidden air tag sleeve, and an identical top compartment with their Explore version 2 line. All right, so I know that's a lot of information and a lot of new features, but if you're looking for a Shimoda bag, which camera bag do you pick out of all of these three? Because you have a lot of great offerings now. But let me break down for you guys all the unique features of each individual bag and then compare all of them to help you guys make the best decision on which Shimoda camera bag you should buy. All right, so when it comes to the original Explore version 2 line, this bag was the first bag to be released out of all three of these. And it's the bag that inspires the Urban Explore. So a lot of the features are gonna be very, very similar. But uh, there are a few differences. In terms of material, both the Explore and the Action X have this water resistant tarpaulin material, whereas on the Urban Explore, it's a little bit more of this fabric y material. Now, the Koldura material is water resistant to a certain extent. If you're caught in like a light, rain shower or you know just passing showers i wouldn't be too concerned about your camera gear getting wet but i have been caught in downpours with both of these bags the camera gear has stayed dry inside of them i would definitely trust the water resistance on the original explorer and the action x more than i would the urban explorer line but don't get me wrong this thing will definitely protect your camera gear just don't go out in like a monsoon or something like that in terms of color the explorer line comes in this nice black color as well as a green colorway and a blue women's colorway the action x series has the black the green the yellow as well as the blue women's line while the urban explorer has the black slash gray colorway as well as the white colorway so personal taste, I leave it up to you. I'm always gonna pick black, unless they come out with a red one. Ian, if you're listening, come out with a red Shimoda bag. In terms of size offerings, these are all 25 liter sizes, but the Explore line also comes in 30 and 35 liter sizes, where the Action X goes from 25 to 30 to 40 to 50 to 70, so there's a wide variety of options the Urban Explore 20, 25, and 30. Another thing that's different on the regular Explore and the Action X, they both have these adjustable shoulder straps where you can adjust it to the size of your frame. If you look on the Urban Explore, we don't have that adjustability anymore. You do still get these load lifters, which come standard on all Shimoda bags, but if you really are looking for the most customization and adjustability for comfort, then definitely look at the Explorer or the Action X. If you're looking for just the simple solution, get the Urban Explorer. 
Another difference is that the Action X and the Explorer both come with an included waist strap. Now, I left my waist strap for the Explorer in the car and I'll explain why in a second. But if you are somebody who is looking to get the most comfort while, you know, carrying all of your camera gear, the waist strap definitely helps a lot when it comes to carrying a lot of your heavy camera gear. And because I've been pretty much exclusively using the Urban Explorer bag just to test it out for this review, I've stolen the waist strap from the regular Explorer. You can actually use it and put it in the same exact place as you would on the Urban Explorer and then now you have a waist strap. Of course, it doesn't come included so you are going to have to buy that separately. But if you really are liking the design or the style of the Urban Explorer and you want that waist belt, just buy it separately from Shimoda and there you have a waist belt. The only issue is that there's no Velcro on this internal pocket to secure the waist strap so the waist strap kind of jiggles around a little bit but it's not the end of the world. This pocket is actually supposed to be used for the passport pocket so it's really supposed to be a hidden pocket but if you really wanted to use a waist strap then you definitely still can with the Urban Explorer. You just have to kind of tweak things a little bit. When it comes to traveling on a plane with one of these things, yes, I brought a carry-on luggage just to demonstrate my point. The Explorer and the Action X both utilize their side handle as their luggage pass-through thingy. <laughs> their luggage pass-through strap. So when you're walking through the airport, you're carrying it uh, pretty much on its side. Now with the Urban Explorer, hang on, we'll put this down here for now. With the Urban Explorer, uh, it's a little bit more, I don't know what the word is, but I guess it's, it's, it, it makes sense a little bit more. You've got the luggage pass-through strap on the back panel of the bag so that when you're walking through the airport, your bag, your backpack and your suitcase are you know, perfectly in line with one another. You don't have stuff dangling off the side. So if you frequently travel quite a bit and you're looking for um, something that just looks a little better walking through the airport, then this is the bag for you. Pretty much in general, if you care more about looks, this bag is a nicer looking bag than one of these guys because when, when you see this, you're basically like, damn, he's going backpacking. And when you see something like this, it's a little more, it's a little easier on the eyes. Just looks like a regular, uh, a regular backpack at this point. All right, when it comes to the shoulder straps, like we mentioned before, the adjustability on the Explore and the Action X provides you with the best fit. In addition to that, the Explore and the Action X have the traditional clip sternum strap as well as a, a little whistle here if you you know of course need it for safety reasons you've also got the standard straps with pockets that you can you know put microfiber towel cloths in you can put your phone in the other Just makes it really convenient to carry around those smaller items, especially when going out to shoot. Stuff that you're gonna need quick access to. Now on the Urban Explorer, again, this is a simplified bag. You don't get those pockets, which, you know, some people use it, some people don't. Um, but you also get this magnetic sternum strap so it clips in like a magnet and tightens and and it's pretty stable you know i'm not worried about this thing accidentally coming off again it's for looks and simplification if you don't need all the fancy features from the action x and the explorer then that's what the urban explorer is kind of for the one thing that i do like about the urban explorer's straps are the addition of this this little piece of fabric for a peak design capture clip if you look on the camera strap on my, my usual camera bag, the Action X, you can see that the Peak Design capture clip literally goes around the entire strap. So sometimes this big piece of metal can rub against the skin and kind of be irritating and can be actually painful sometimes if you have everything tied too tight. But 
Ugh. on the Urban Explorer. Now you've got this extra piece of fabric that pretty much lifts the capture clip off of your body. So now you have the camera strap right in between you and the capture clip. So it's not really poking at your body too much. Now there's a nice big space for you to put the capture clip on. So that is one thing about this bag's camera straps that I really like. I miss the pockets, but I like the addition of the fabric for the Peak Design capture clip. In terms of the water bottle and tripod pockets, all of these bags are a little bit different. On the Explore line, you've got these packable and stowable water bottle tripod pockets. So you just slide your uh, device of choosing. There's uh, straps up here to secure it like that. And you just tighten everything down and everything kind of just sits on the outside. Now, if you don't need this pocket, it packs away very nicely on the side so that, you know, it's pretty much out of your way and you can pull it out when you need it. On the Action X line, those, you pretty much have the same exact water bottle slash tripod pockets. They're still packable and stowable on the Action X if you needed it, but the difference is that they can detach and then you can secure it onto like your waist belt so that it's a little bit easier to carry items and it takes the weight off your back. So I mostly use this for a bigger water bottle when hiking because the weight of water and a water bottle is super heavy. So transferring that weight onto the hip uh, is very helpful. Um, and then on the Urban Explorer, everything is pretty much just built into the bag. There's no extra pockets. The water bottle and tripod pockets on here are elastic. So when they're not in use, they're pretty much flush against the bag. And then when you need it, you pull it out, you drop your item of choice in there, and there you go. And you've also got this strap to just secure things as well. But the nice thing about it is if you don't want this strap, just kind of attached like that, you literally can just tuck it in to there. And now you've pretty much got a very simple uh, side of the bag. No extra dangly things hanging off the bag. When it comes to the exterior of these bags, that's another big difference. So on the Explore, you get these attachable and detachable uh, accessory straps. So you can mount a tripod if you wanted to, or pretty much any other item. But you can lash something to the back of the bag. On the Action X line, these straps come pretty much just built in and standard. Those things cannot be removed. But on the Urban Explorer, again, it's not meant to be a survivalist backpacking pack. It's supposed to be very simple. So you don't have any of these lashing points or external straps. It's just a nice clean back. The exterior pockets are pretty much almost, almost nearly identical. On the Urban Explorer, you've got this back panel that on the inside, it has that hidden air tag pocket. You've also got that hidden air tag pocket on the Action X, but you don't get it on the Explore. Um, you've got a couple of pockets to divide things up, throw in extra items, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then this pocket actually can go up a little bit. So if you wanted to store things that are a little bit higher, you can. You've pretty much got the exact same pocket here where you can store things down the front. You've got a couple of pockets on the inside here, um, but you've also got this extra pocket down here that you know you can use for a rain cover or pretty much anything. So if you're really into multiple pockets, this bag actually has, I think the most pockets for just storing some small miscellaneous stuff. On the Action X here, it's just a very, it's just a one compartment that goes all the way down. You've got the air tag pocket down here. You've got some pockets up here to throw some things in if you need it. But I usually just use it to carry rain gear, rain covers, and they all work fine on all three. 
Now this is the one feature about the Urban Explorer that I really like and it's the addition of the new laptop sleeve. So of course you get the traditional laptop sleeve in the front here where you can slide in a 13 inch laptop on the 20 liter, the 25 liter, you can fit a 13 inch laptop here. And on the 30 liter, I believe you can fit up to a 16 inch laptop in that pocket. But on the 25 liter, you also get the ability to throw in a 16 inch laptop via this pocket here. And it's the front pocket and it just flips up like that. And then your laptop goes in and slides right behind the camera cube on the inside. And I want to take a little bit of credit for that because when I originally bought the 25 liter of the Explorer, I was looking to find a way to fit in my 16 inch laptop because at the time I didn't have a whole bunch of camera gear that I needed a bigger bag. And the way I found out how to do that is by taking this top pocket on the Explorer, stop falling, <laughs> unzipping it a little bit and pretty much doing the exact same thing is taking the laptop, oh, there goes the phone, and sliding it in right behind the camera cube. And I think I inspired that. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. I inspired that change on the, <laughs> on the Urban Explorer. On the Action X on the 25 liter, you don't get that official 16 inch laptop support. You know, you can do the same trick where you undo the top compartment bag and slide in the laptop that way behind the camera cube. But actually I've found that if I were to clear out this pocket here of all the rain covers and all that stuff, you can actually just fit a uncovered 16 inch. If you have a case on it, it's not gonna work, but a uncovered 16 inch MacBook Pro, the newer models, and it is a tight squeeze. <laughs> and it does take some effort a little bit, but you can slide it <laughs> into that exterior pocket. So moral of the story, just get yourself a 14 inch laptop if you carry it around a lot. But if you have a 16 inch laptop and you're looking at a smaller camera bag size, there are a variety of ways to get around it, but I do appreciate on the Urban Explorer how easy it is to just slide it in just like that. And so it has quickly become my favorite camera bag to use when I have to go and run some errands and shoot at the same time because it doesn't look like I'm backpacking and I can carry my laptop, I can go and edit somewhere. Um, so just for that addition in the of the newer laptop sleeve. This laptop sleeve has definitely been one of my favorite features while I've been testing out the Urban Explorer. Another difference comes in the camera cubes and the, and the dividers on these bags. So one of the great things that I've loved about Shimoda is their dividers. They're so th super thin. Come on, Spencer, unzip your bag. They're super thin, they're super lightweight. Uh, because they're super thin, they create a lot of room for your camera gear. On the Urban Explorer, they made the padding a little bit thicker and uh, plush material and, you know, it, it's nice and it doesn't quite um, impede the amount of camera gear you can fit in there. You can still pretty much get the same amount of camera gear, but I'm, not, I'm, I'm just not sure why they changed it because I really loved these uh, dividers and I think even if I were to use this bag on a more daily basis I'd, I'd still use these dividers because sometimes when you're packing a bag every inch of space matters this is the original size and this is the new plush size so a little bit of a difference but I prefer the thinner ones another difference when we're talking about the back padding is on the Urban Explorer you get this nice mesh back padding on the Explore line, you also get the very nice breathable mesh padding. But on the Action X, for some reason, they give you kind of a more water resistant material. It's kind of uh, foam, foam core-esque. Personally, I appreciate the mesh because I, I live in Hawaii. It's freaking 
80 to 90 degrees most of the time when I'm out hiking during the daytime. So this stuff gets hot. I wish that the Action X had the mesh material, but it is what it is. It's kind of minor, um, but yeah. The big difference about the Action X, which is why this remains kind of my bag of choice, is this roll top. This expandable roll top expands the bag from 25 liters up to 32 liters, so you can throw in extra stuff on the top, like camera batteries, like a drone, and a, con a headlamp, and the drone controller, and the you, you get the point. Having that extra expandability really is something that I really, really appreciate. It allows me to bring the insane amount of camera gear that I bring out on every single shoot. While it's not necessarily a bad thing that the Explorer and the Urban Explorer don't have that roll top, I'd rather have the flexibility than not. Um, you know, having this zippered pocket and top access to whatever you put in here is nice and you know, it's, 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 oh my God. <laughs> it's quick, it's fast, it's easy, um, but I'd rather just have the extra seven liters. All right, so now that you've gotten a nice rundown and comparison between all of these bags, I'm gonna give you guys my opinion about who I think each bag is for, uh, depending on what you shoot, depending on how much camera gear that you have. Um, and then you can, of course, decide for yourself. But this is just my assessment of it after using pretty much all of the offerings from Shimoda. All right, when it comes to the Urban Explorer, this bag is mostly made for like content creators that really like to have the accessibility of that 16 inch laptop and basically any photographer, videographer that really, really needs to have their laptop with them on a shoot, maybe they're run and gun and just like to edit on the go. This is a nice bag for you. It has the most versatility when it comes to the laptop carrying options. Um, whereas the other versions are not quite meant to really be carrying your laptop. You kind of have to hack it in order to carry, especially a 16 inch laptop. Um, but you know, to each its own. Um, this bag is also really good if you're a cityscape photographer, if you'd like to shoot a lot into the city and you want a bag that kind of blends in and kind of basically just looks more so like a normal camera bag. Um, if you are wearing one of these bags, it really does look like you're about to go on a 10 mile hike uh, through the woods and the wilderness. While if you're wearing this one, it just looks a little bit nicer and stealthier. So if you care about that, this bag is for you. You still probably could take it on some shorter hikes. I would say maybe like a couple miles. Um, but you know, if you are going on those serious mountain climbs and backpacking, this is not the bag for you because you know the straps aren't adjustable. There's no weight included waist strap, and uh, you know the material is not the most robust out there. Um, so if you do a lot of that, um, definitely look at one of those two bags. But if your hiking is mostly short hikes and not as crazy as adventures, then this bag will work just fine. And when it comes to the inside of the camera bag and what it can actually hold, it's definitely more of a minimalist kind of uh, setup if you're looking for it. So as you can see, I've already got just kind of like a example test body in here, but you can fit a couple more lenses, maybe one more body mounted up here. Uh, and then maybe a drone in the, in the top compartment. But yeah, if you don't have a whole lot of camera gear and you like to keep things minimal and simple, this bag is gonna work perfect for you. You definitely don't wanna overload this pack because the idea is that you're also gonna be carrying your heavy laptop in there as well. So you don't necessarily wanna carry your full kit and your laptop on your back. That's just, uh, that's just asking for back problems down the road. When it comes to the Explore version 2, this bag is mostly for the travelers and the basic outdoor photographers. And I don't mean basic in a bad way, but outdoor photography in terms of, you know, not the extreme hiking and backpacking and all that kind of stuff. And most of the time, I'm a basic outdoor photographer myself. I just kind of walk out a little bit from the parking lot and take my pictures and walk back to the car. Nothing wrong with that. And while you could use this bag on those extreme backpacking trips, it's definitely not built for that. You can still take it on those shorter to medium length hikes. It's nice because the limited size 
it kind of limits yourself to making sure that you're not fully maxing out your camera bag and breaking your back while you go on those hikes. It's not quite minimalist, but it's also not quite maximalist as well. The size itself is going to keep you from bringing every single piece of equipment that you own. And that definitely helps on those hikes as well. You can probably fit two to three bodies, two to four lenses, a drone. If you do a little bit more outdoorsy activities and uh, need something that has a little bit better weather proofing and uh, stuff you can get dirty and throw around a little bit more, definitely look at the Explore line. If you're looking to kind of stay clean or you're shooting in mostly clean environments like the city, then the Urban Explorer is a little bit better for you. But if you do anything outdoorsy, get the Explorer. Now the Action X here. This is for your advanced outdoor nature photographers, your extreme backpackers, or for people like me who just have a lot of camera gear and want to take every single piece of equipment that they own out every time they shoot. I still don't know why I have so much camera gear, but here we are. Um, the reason why I say that is because of the roll top. Like you saw earlier, the roll top adds that extra flexibility so you can throw in extra stuff on top, like extra camera gear or snacks or water or survival equipment. Um, and these external straps also lend themselves a lot better to carrying a lot of tripods, <laughs> in my case, or other outdoor gear like trekking poles or skis. If you look inside of my camera bag right now, you will see that this thing is stuffed to the max. <laughs> I'm not even using all of my equipment, but you can definitely fit three bodies. I put one here, one unmounted body here, one body here, multiple lenses. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, six lenses and then the drone on top. If you have a lot of camera gear and need to bring that camera gear out with you, this is definitely the bag for you. It's what I would call the maximalist bag, and I'm definitely a maximalist. I bring all my crap, even though, oh yeah. <laughs> I bring all my crap, even if it breaks my back. All right, so I hope that information was helpful in helping you decide which of these Shimoda bags are right for you. Their Urban Explorer line is currently on Kickstarter, so if you are interested in this bag, definitely go check that out. I am also a Shimoda affiliate, so if you want either the Explore or the Action X and you want to purchase it on Shimoda's website, use the code LEE10 for 10% off your purchase, and I do get a little bit of a kickback, but honestly, I just wanted to make this video to give you guys my thoughts on their new Urban Explorer line, as well as kind of compare it and help you guys decide if you are looking in the market for a Shimoda bag, which in my opinion, they are the best bags for camera gear out there on the market right now, um, to give you guys an information and to help you guys decide which bag is the best fit for you. So yeah, now I'm gonna pack up all this camera gear and walk it back to the car, which is about half a mile away. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.